What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're interacting to the fourth episode of 86. This one's titled Real Name, uh, following straight off of um, the uh, ending of last episode, uh, berating uh, Lena about how she doesn't actually know their real names, she just knows them as their code names and such. Um, so yeah, Sho has already, well, we already killed off a character early on, but it's not a character we actually knew too well, so it didn't feel as impactful. This time we... Whilst we only really properly introduced her over the course of this episode, we have killed off another character, and I wonder how... I wonder how ballsy they're going to be going forward, because it's something to kill off named characters from your main unit so early on. That does set a precedent. It's like, yeah, this is a war, people are gonna die. And very much in the situation they're in, ill-equipped... Uh, underfunded, not the proper amount of information you'd expect a an elite unit to have. They're really just throw them at the enemy and hope that it's enough. But again, it feels so... Even then, it feels so... What's the word I'm looking for? So... I can't find the word. But it just feels so negligent, almost, for any military to just be like, oh, yeah, that'll do it. Especially if they fear the Legion, and they know the Legion's so advanced, it feels weird that we they are content with just that being enough. Almost feels like there's more going on from even that, because apparently the Legion took over and destroyed the entire um, Empire. Uh, and they think, oh, we've got two years before it all shuts down anyway. It's like, they're banking so much on that, it feels like, and I feel that that might come back to bite them. Also, just their treatment of the 86 in general, I feel, will come back to bite them eventually, but that's probably way, way, way down the road. Like, that's more like second half of the entire franchise stuff, not even second half of this series, even if it's a split core show. Like, I expect that to be something that's explored, like, way down the road. Um, if they explore it at all, obviously. Um, but yeah, uh, we did have a character killed off, uh, but... And Lena did feel partly responsible because she didn't realise that that area that she would be deployed in would be marshlands and therefore get her stuck at an easy target. So she does feel somewhat responsible. Uh, plus, um, uh, one of the pilots really went off on a rant about uh, what happened. And yeah, this unit, this unit normally breaks its operators anyway. I feel like this wasn't necessarily the plan, though, because usually they're like, oh, yeah, we'll get, can't wait to get rid of the next one, because they're on, like, number six now, I think, Lena was, because uh, they had all the drawings of them up as pigs in, like, their uniforms and shit, um, which, again, is something I feel like will change once they get to like her a bit more. I'm sure they'll, like, do a proper image of her, and I'll be proud to say that she is their uh, pandler, as it were. But, yeah. Yeah. I wonder how this is going to go. I assume we're going to be dealing with the aftermath of that. Real name? I Something tells me she's going to want to learn their real names now. She's like, okay, you feel like I don't care about you because I don't know your real names? Well, I will learn all your real names and I will drop that on you. Like, I feel like she's just going to be like, you think I'm being a hypocrite just because I have a fancy lifestyle? And it's like, like, what do I get out of being nice to you? I don't really get anything. I'm doing it because I genuinely am nice. And, yeah, I, I feel like this is going to be an exploration of that, so I'm I'm very excited for that. But I guess we'll see. So, below the episode up here. Uh, as per usual, these are tire based format reactions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full Patreon picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month gets you access to all Patreon picture reactions I do on the channel, which is everything from the current seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows World Trigger, uh, Lock Horizon Season 2, and Symphogear G. Uh, we also do movie reactions, and right now on my Patreon there is a poll for uh, what movie we're going to be watching this month, uh, so you can go ahead and vote on that one uh, on my Patreon if you are a Patreon member. Uh, we added two new movies, Kiki's Delivery Service and uh, Love Me, Love Me Not, to that list. One older, like late 80s Ghibli movie, uh, and one uh, newer romance movie that I'm actually really kind of excited to see. So uh, they are added to the lineup, as well as some of the other movies that have already been on there, so... Go check that out as well. Uh, all that information is also available on the Discord uh, if you want to come join that as well and say hi. Um, but yeah, here on YouTube we have to do timer base. So bottom left of the screen you'll see a timer for the episode. I count down three to one play. When I'm play, you start your episode, I start your episode, and we should be in sync. We uh, watch this one on Crunchyroll as per usual since they're the ones who licensed it. 
Uh, no logos or anything to start with. It looks like we're looking at uh, boots. Uh, probably one of the um, probably one of the um, 86s, if I had to guess. Um, but you can use screen flash on my face, the mic, all this part of my headset to tell when the scenes are transitioning. They actually help you sync it up as well. Uh, and with all that said, let's get into uh, this week's episode, shall we? In three, two, one, play. Yeah, we're starting off with the. Uh, hmm. Right. I just lost someone, so... Any time. Alright, looking at the little, like, pieces that he takes, I assume he's going to go and take a piece from hers as well in a minute, probably. Because he did that with the other one that died as well. So I assume he's going to go do that. And if it's not shown on screen, at least we'll see, like, evidence of it, I guess. Mm. Back to normality. He's still totally distracted, yep. Mm. Boy. Uh. Hmm. 
Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. I want to be sure of that. to him. Why should we just accept it? Mm -hmm. Why be complicit? <laughs> I mean... Really? Mm. Yeah, for us. No, oh, yeah. No, oh, it's just an evidence of the conditioning that society has already imprinted on her. She's not going to do that. Oh, right. Right, we did go there, and we were saved by someone. How she lost dad. Mm -hmm.
influenced who she became and her views. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. I don't think she will be. She'll follow his path, but she'll find her own way as well. of which it provides nothing to them. Right. Who's to say what's impossible, though? People think things are impossible, and then you get a revolution. Connecting with him directly. Yep. Everything of the society and system is designed to make you not think of them as human. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Explains why he has so many. No oh, wait. Oh Jesus! I didn't realize it was that many. Mm hmm. You don't get a choice. More way to kick that in. Uh, we have quite a lot of after credit though here. Quite a lot of after credit actually. That's a cool shot though. Here we go. <laughs> mm hmm mm hmm Hmm. 
Interesting. Hmm. I mean, you have to be in this situation, right? Okay, there it is. Huh? Okay. I'm with you. Well then. Good episode. Another very good episode. Uh, have we mentioned Shorei at any point before? Because I feel like... I feel like that's the first time we've heard that name. I, but I almost felt like we should have known that name by this point. Um, does that mean... How does she know of his brother then? I wonder why... Wonder why she knows the brother. Maybe the brother's famous amongst eighty sixes or something. I don't know. But yeah, there seems to be like a bit more there to unpack as well, which I'm excited to get into. Five hundred and sixty one names already from him alone. That's insane. But honestly, well, considering he's only been with the units he's been with, I guess that's fair. It depends how many units there are like this, because we're following... We're just following Spearhead, the main unit. Who knows however many other units there would be. Like, depending on how big the Republic was at the time of them doing their divide and having the Alba population be in control. Like... I wonder how many other battalions, units, and stuff they actually have uh, besides Spearhead.
Hmm. I, I wonder how many that actually are, because 561 is, in the grand scheme of things, would not be a lot. But that's just from the units he's been with, which could be, like, one of, like, 200 units. We don't know how many units they actually have uh, fighting the Legion at any one point. We just know where we've got our assigned area, and that's all we're doing, so... Anyway, um, that was a nice episode for getting to understand each other a little more. Like, obviously, not just like best buds all of a sudden. Uh, we are working towards um, getting a bit... We're just working on making sure that we don't like absolutely despise each other and want each other dead, essentially. Um, but, yeah. The actual, like... Like, she does have a, that idealism to her. But other people, like, for example, um, her her friend uh, the, in the lab, she's of the mind, it's like, what can, I can't do anything. And just thinking about it just will make me regret that we're in this situation, so I might as well just not care. And that's a dangerous way to get it. If you just become complicit in what's going on, you're just like, Ah, it's never gonna change. Let's 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 just leave it. But that's not what happens in the world. Eventually, issues get to a boiling point, and something will be done, whether that be peacefully through determining of new laws or something, or violently. As well, I, I've just been I recently rewatched uh, Oversimplified's French Revolution, um, uh, like thing, his videos, a series on that, uh, and that. That just shows what you think. Like, no, the the civilian population of France at the time were like, we're being left in the shit whilst all the nobility and clergy are just living their best lives. It's like, why should we just take it? It got to a boiling point after so many situations. So it's like, fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna make our own government. We're gonna take things into our own control, and then things get a lot crazier from there, as the French Revolution ended up being. But that's what happens in revolutions. Like, even peaceful ones, like Industrial Revolution. Everyone was content with the way things were done, but then someone was like, no, I can use this to do something more. And thus we got more machinery, and therefore revolution and evolution of technology kind of began. Well, it didn't begin, but like, retook a major stride, I should say, I should say, because we've always been innovating as humans. We've been innovating since the, the day we were humans, essentially. Like, whether it be, like, learning more about our areas, cultivating crops, uh, new technologies to improve our harvests, and all the way, all the way up until we get to the modern age and the craziness that we're now able to perform, and space travel and all this stuff that's constantly evolving. The fact that we can land rockets now, thank you, SpaceX. Like, that's still crazy to me that we can send a rocket up into space and land it back down to reuse, to send something else back up. Like, that's crazy to me still. And seeing Falcon Heavy land, that's still... That's something that I'm going to be like... I will always remember. And seeing America finally launching astronauts back into space again on their own soil, like, that's still iconic. Seeing seeing the Mars mission go off, when the, when the eventual Mars mission goes off, and watching people being sent to Mars... When that gets broadcast, because they're going to try and broadcast, obviously, the landing on Mars, which will be a massive delay, because all footage from Mars will take at least 20 minutes to come back, right? Was it 20 minutes, or was it 10 minutes one way, 10 minutes back? I can't remember. I think it was 20 minutes for any information to come back from Mars to Earth. So, like, as live as that necessarily is, that's going to be a, a site that people of this generation will remember. Like, people remember the moon landings as, like, one of the most momentous occasions. People are going to remember the Mars landings. That's the next step. And I can't wait to see that point. Um, but anyway, I went really off piece on this, but... Yeah, this was more of a character-building episode than it was world-building or plot-building. He was just getting our, uh, our Spearhead Squadron and Lena into a bit of an agreement uh, as to what's about to go on. I feel like there's more to uncover about the brother there that we'll probably delve into maybe next episode or so. Um, we'll also be sending in maps uh, to um, the XO and start preparing a bit better now for future engagements as well. So, 
yeah, very excited. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that one as per usual. Leave a like if you did as well as your comments what you thought of the episode. Don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the Spring 2021 lineup you can find here on the channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time. See you guys later.